church family. Uh, happy Wednesday to you. I hope this email finds you well. Uh, whether you open it up on Wednesday or, or Thursday or Friday, the Word of God remains true um, all of the time. And I want to encourage you with it. I want to share with you a, a passage from Matthew chapter 5. And it's familiar to you, no doubt. It's a, a portion of Scripture in the 13, 12, 13, I think 13, 14, somewhere there, where Jesus says to his people, you are the light of the world. He says, you're the salt of the earth and you're the light of the world. This idea of being a light is so powerful. Um, when things are dark, when the world feels dark, when relationships feel dark, and when I say that, I'm referring to the, the, the depression, the, the difficulty, the oppression of the enemy, the confusion that can come and kind of puts this filter a negative filter over relationships and over the workplace and and it's kind of a funk where we just feel it over us I think we have a, a responsibility and a, and a choice in those moments to either uh, cave to the darkness in other words to just let it loom over us or we remember what Jesus words were that that we're the light of the world and that those are the moments that we're called to shine our light it says that we we shine our light again so men and women they can see our good works and they glorify our father who's in heaven and so I wanted to throw that out to you today as a challenge and if you're anything like me you're experiencing some of that that filter that's over some relationships even friendships and and it can be an offense it can be difficult uh, I would I would challenge you that where you see darkness bringing coming in um, that's not of God and and you have not only a a, a challenge but a, a an authority that comes to be the light of the world in those moments, to bring hope where there's despair, to bring truth where there's falsehood, to bring encouragement where, where you find um, people are discouraged, to maybe your call to be a light in a situation is to, to extend forgiveness and grace when someone really doesn't deserve it, um, but you release it to them. I don't know what your scenario is, but, but would you take to heart the words of Jesus today and, and wherever you feel a darkening occurring in your life, around you or around others, would you make it your mission to be the light, to, to go and intentionally um, bring the good news of Jesus um, through your actions, through your words, that you would point people towards restoration, you'd point them towards um, the power of salvation, you'd point them towards hope and, and lead them to the Prince of Peace. We have these answers, we have these solutions for a moment just like this. And instead of us caving to the darkness, let's rise up and make it our mission to be ambassadors for Jesus and those who bring light. So I hope this encourages you. I hope that that's way beyond a cliche, um, that, that you wouldn't take it as, oh, I'm going to be the light, but that you would go, how can I be the light today? How can I be the light in my marriage? How can I be the light with my kids? How can I be the light in the world, in the workplace and, and, and all around? How can I be an advocate for someone who needs me to speak up for them? Um, what a great mission that Jesus has left us with. And not only has he left us with the mission, but the authority to carry it out and the help of the Holy Spirit to do it well. So God bless you today. I hope this, this uh, little devotional encourages you and, and know that we are continuously praying for you, our church family, and trusting God that this moment um, he will be glorified in your life. Bless you.